Stand on one foot, take the other foot off the floor, and let yourself squat just a little bit so that your knee goes forward. At this point, your weight should feel like it's in the middle of the foot in the arch, not on the toe, and your torso should feel very long. So from your sits bones all the way to the top of your head, that's gonna make sure that you're not rounding or arching through your back to do this. Then put the other foot on the floor just a little bit back. You're not gonna go a long way back with this one. It's gonna be a close stance split squat. So first, once you feel the weight in the arch of the foot, that's where you're gonna stay the whole time. This is just a little bit of support, maybe 10% of your weight at most. You're gonna keep your hands on your hips to help the hips flex into the movement. At no point do we want your back rounding. So you're gonna stop before that depth if you feel that your back is rounding. So you're gonna exhale. and start to squat down, keeping the weight in the arch of the foot, letting your knee go forward, letting your hip feel like it's flexing. If it's going the other way, you might have gone too far, so just make sure that you're helping with the fingers so you're not rounding through your back, but you're staying very long from those sits bones all the way through the top of your head. If you get stuck, take a breath in. Exhale deeper down all the way. If your other knee touches the floor, awesome, but you're going to push up just a little bit from that depth and hold. You're going to feel a ton of leg working here, stay on the arch and push into the arch. So really push, push, push. Don't stand up, just drive. And then you're going to push, actually push up by smashing into the arch of the foot, coming up, making sure that the knee doesn't move back. You're going to stay on that foot. Once you've done the rep, then you can walk out of it, shake it out, take a rest.